And now, Policy Brief, how U.S. policy affects your world. One of the challenges in our world, now and for many years to come, said U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, will be to deal with weak and poorly governed states. These crises create environments of anarchy and conflict in ungoverned space, where violence and oppression can spread. It is clear, said Secretary Rice, that managing the problems of state failure will be a feature of U.S. foreign policy for the foreseeable future. Often, reconstruction and stabilization efforts have been borne principally by the military. But experience has demonstrated that such missions are best led by civilian government organizations. This is why U.S. President George Bush has proposed a civilian response corps, which will include an active component made up of 250 civilian experts who can deploy rapidly to the scene of a crisis. These individuals will help foreign leaders and citizens stabilize and rebuild their states. In addition, the U.S. will train up to 2,000 standby members of the Civilian Response Corps. These are regular federal employees, including doctors and engineers, who have volunteered for additional training and will be available in the event of a crisis. Ultimately, our goal is to enable countries in crisis to transition as quickly as possible to governing themselves, sustaining themselves, and securing themselves without U.S. or international assistance. That was Policy Brief, how U.S. policy affects your world.